good afternoon everyone in this session we will concentrate on the instructional use of wiki in engineering courses so we are trying to answer or the objective is how can you create meaningful wiki activities for students so since it was a uh, so prior to moving on to this um, there was a survey which is uh, posted in uh, which you had to do uh, please make sure that you do the pre wiki survey uh, as early as possible also uh, there were some issues regarding the peer instruction assignment that many people are not able to view their peer instruction assignments so each remote center coordinator uh, will be able to view all the assignments so you can take the help of the remote center coordinator so i uh, request the remote center coordinator to uh, log in to your uh, moodle account go to the lesson uh, the peer instruction activity and go to reports section since you are a non editing teacher you can view all the uh, submitted assignments as part of peer instruction so select the i mean search for the name and then select click on that click on the button and you will see the answer that the participant has actually provided you can copy paste that into a word document and then you can do the peer review process so i'll now uh, start with a polling question so the question is regarding use of wiki in your own course so each remote center coordinator please identify the number of teachers who have used wiki for any particular activity within their course it can be projects it can be assignments it can be even for course notes so i have given five options none 1 to 5 5 to 10 10 to 20 and more than 20 since some of the remote centers have 30 to 40 participants so you can choose the appropriate option once the poll is up and we'll see the graph so the polling has been started just take a count a rough count is also fine so i see that reva institute has given an option e very good so most of the teachers from reva institute will will find the next session uh, uh, the next session much more easier that is the lab on wiki okay so i have a an interesting graph so there are six remote centers so out of 24 remote centers seven at seven remote centers none of the teachers have used at 10 we have 1 to 5 option a at 4 we have 5 to 10 at two places we have 10 to 20 at six places we have more than 20 so this is a good statistic to start with how many of you have actually filled the pre uh, wiki survey that was posted today afternoon uh, you can reply on chat so the remote centers please so i just need to know so lnmit jaipur has said yes uh can we do it quickly din work for us bms college okay we'll see the moodle is working so rvit bijnor say yes yes tkm college kollam no heritage institute of technology so uh okay so what we would recommend is that after the end of the lesson honestly go and fill the survey uh 
just before the lap. So, we have enabled the uh, we will re enable the survey, so that you can take it again ok. Moving on, so in the online session you would have seen these two diagrams that uh, the, the simplest definition of a wiki is that it is a web page that anybody can edit. So, a normal web page will have a single author and it is visible for the audience, whereas in a wiki the audience can edit it. So, this is the simplest definition of a wiki and also you saw two wiki pages. So, this one red line triple s c i was a wiki for course project which was created for completing course projects. The wiki has been in use from 2008 till 2012 and it is the wiki has a neat description on the grouping, the process and the grading of completed work. So, the link is given over here also there was a wiki which was a live course website. It was given to the 9th standard uh, students at St. Mark school in South Boro in Massachusetts. It contained podcasts, video clips, essays, charts and even a rap on the play Henry the fourth, the Shakespeare's play of uh, Henry the fourth. So, its wiki is also given here. Something you can see common is there is this wiki spaces dot com in both. So, if you see the previous one it is red line triple s c i dot wiki spaces dot com and this is read english dot wiki spaces dot com. So, wiki spaces is a uh, open web page wherein you can create your own wiki. I think many since I saw many participants uh, many remote centers having people used wiki I think they would be familiar to this particular website. Anyway, we will be using this particular website for the wiki lab uh, after this. So, we are going to conduct a peer instruction activity uh, which will be conducted by the remote center coordinator at their own centers. So, what I want the remote center coordinator to do is pose the question shown in the next slide, get the answer of the majority and the poll will be shown. You have to give the majority's answer through a view poll. Okay. The question is what do you think were the learning objectives of the wiki read English which was the one on the Henry the fourth. So, the last wiki which I said. So, there are three options option one provide collaborative student learning opportunities, option B develop higher order thinking skills among students and C both of the above. So, you have 30 seconds to collect the opinion I will just start the poll in a view. Okay. So, remote center coordinators you will see the a view poll give us the answer given by the majority. Okay, so, I have 19 23 people have uh, polled right now. Okay, so, we will look at the total numbers now. So, there are 20 people who said that it is both of the above, 3 people who said it was to develop higher order thinking skills and 4 remote centers who said that it is option A provide collaborative student learning opportunities. So, let me summarize the answer. So, the instructional purposes of wiki can be one wiki support collaborative learning. So, students can co-create contents and discuss about it. 
in the course of on Henry the fourth the wiki page is edited by multiple authors. The second purpose is that wikis are useful for generation of course materials in terms of course notes, assignments, projects. So, you can see that in that wiki uh, there were materials created on various aspects of the lecture on Henry the fourth. So, there were uh, uh, reviews about it, there were uh, activities on it all these were present in that. So, it can it was created both by the teacher as well as the students. So, that is what we mean by generation of course materials. And third wikis can be used for achieving higher order thinking skills. So, in the morning session if you remember in the tools for creating type of learning activity it was mentioned wikis. So, give learning activities at higher order thinking skills. In that particular Henry for wiki there was a wrap created by two students. So, they had chronologically arranged various facets of the play and created a rap a lyrics for a rap. So, this is actually the students have gone on beyond evaluate to an actual create cognitive level. So, this is so remote centers you are all right wiki provides collaborative opportunities wikis provide uh, options for higher order thinking skills, but the uh, great benefit of a wiki is that it combines both. So, a strength of a good wiki is that a clear overall purpose for the wiki and a local purpose will be stated. There will be clear time frames as to when to start and when to end and there are ownerships for both students as well as instructor. It provides an avenue for collaboration and there would be clear etiquettes on posting or editing pages and also most importantly there will be clear instructions about grading the wiki activity. You would have seen this in the online assignment the stolen principle. So, it is a good way to start. Uh, so, if you are planning to set up a wiki this particular principle is a good way to see whether your wiki is a an average wiki or a good wiki. It provides checklists as to what all should be present to make it a good wiki. So, the maximum number of ticks you get within this stolen the better your wiki is. So, now we start with the think pair share activity. You have seen a brief about what wikis are useful for. So, within your course so first is the think activity. So, all of you have an individual course. So, within your course and this has to be an individual activity think about one purpose for which you will use wiki in your course and you should have the following points as an answer to this think phase. So, there should be a clear purpose, grouping, time span and instructions. So, in, in grouping what we mean by grouping is how many groups will be there and how many students per group and time span is how long will this wiki activity run, will it run for the entire course or are there specific time periods within the course and instructions is how are you going to give instructions for a wiki activity, will the instructions be given in class or will there be instructions in wiki itself. So, you have a total uh, 3 minutes to complete this activity make sure you think individually first. What you have to make sure is that all these points 
have to fit in your answer. So, it would be a good idea that you have a book or a piece of paper in front of you and you write these answers, because in the next phase you are going to share this with your partner. So, remote center coordinators uh, please make sure that participants are thinking about this individually. So, we are also able to view remote centers from our side. So, we know that people are actually doing tasks. So, I see lot of people working in their notebooks which is good. So, yes. So, we will now move on to the next phase that is the. So, before moving on to the next phase I will just summarize what you have actually done in terms of the stolen principle. By specifying the purpose of wiki you have provided a specific overall objective and T you have provided the time span, ownership is taken care by the grouping that you have provided and the engagement uh, criteria is satisfied by the instructions that you have provided. Okay. Now, we will move on to the pair phase. So, pair with another participant make sure that it is more or less the same domain or at least similar domain which you can both of you can understand. Share your answers and between the two of you select a purpose that both of you find interesting. And now together you will build the wiki implementation structure. So, it is a wiki implementation structure that is going to be the output of the pair phase for the activity that you chose. So, what do you mean by the wiki implementation structure? So, it will have information about wiki organization, the type of pages, possible contents, type of activities that they do in the wiki page, type of materials that are going into the wiki page, images, videos, files, podcasts or any other whatever you which is specific for your course. Next is who owns what, through this we want an idea about a pages that the instructor owns and the pages that are student owned. So, in terms of ownership which are populated more by the instructor and which are populated more by the student and rules. So, the page wise view or edit permissions that is going to happen and instructions to use the wiki. So, you will have to fit all these in your answer. So, this is a pair activity. So, you identify pairs from same domain and the total time for this activity is 10 minutes. Once again I will request the remote center coordinators to make sure that pairing is happening and they discuss these aspects. So, I see some centers people are, so I know that it is afternoon, but this activity will be helpful for you if you do it diligently. So, once again remote center coordinators please make sure that participants are grouping up and doing this particular activity. It is good to see that at many remote centers people are actually pairing up and are discussing it, discussing the wiki organization. So, I will just repeat the main points that is required in the pair phase. 
you will have to specify the wiki organization in terms of the types of pages, possible contents, type of activities that they do in the wiki page and the type of materials. So, your answers should have all these properties. Again ownership whether student or instructor owns the page various pages within the wiki and the permissions and instructions to operate the wiki. So, you need not work individually you can this particular phase is for discussing and coming up with a single answer has been repeated throughout this workshop. Collaboration is very key for 21st century teachers as well as 21st century learners. So, I hope all of you discuss among groups. So, all these slides will be uploaded as soon as the sessions are over. So, by, uh, by around 4 o'clock all the resources for day 4 will be uploaded in Moodle this is a slightly lengthy activity just because this is a crucial part in designing the wiki activity. So, all these points if you you will have to think a little and then come up with a final answer. The peer discussion will help you to refine your thoughts and come up with a good wiki for the course that you are planning. So, let me remind you that this is going to be an assignment. So, if you do it in class it will be easier for you to upload that particular assignment in Moodle. So, the type of by type of pages what we mean is uh, if it is a project page there will be a project information, uh, there will be specific roles for the project. So, for example, collection of data. So, that might go in a page. So, that is a that is what we mean by type of pages. So, the basically what content goes into a page. If it is an assignment page, maybe each page will be assigned to different users or different groups based on whether the assignment is a individual assignment or group assignment. So, the type of activities yeah it can be whether you are doing a discussion within the wiki or uh, are you planning for a multiple choice question through wiki, but I am not sure how you are going to implement it, but make sure that whatever. So, in the morning session the content type and learning activity has to be connected. So, instructions. So, one college is asking about instructions. So, instructions will be like what all are allowed to be posted, how do you uh, give citations, which member, uh, which group will go to which page. So, things like that process within the wiki. So, you have to go to this particular page to do this assignment. So, if you have to discuss you will have to uh, go to this particular page follow this particular structure all these will form instructions within the wiki activity. So, you can post your doubts through chat the pair phase is coming to an end in a minute. So, types of pages articles concepts which are valid. So, a page will be dedicated for all the articles a page will be dedicated for all the concepts, but make sure this serves the purpose for which this wiki was created. So, initially you had written the purpose of wiki. So, make sure whatever activities or whatever pages you plan it should be aligned to the purpose of the wiki.
So, consider this wiki as an instructional activity, the purpose was the learning objective and this particular thing is the instructional strategy that you are using. Yeah, activities can be reading, editing, yes materials could be video or audio files, whichever is relevant to the concept. Once again I would want you to revisit the concept for which or the purpose for which the wiki was created. Okay. Now, we will move to the uh, share phase, but before that again let us revisit the stolen principle. So, who owns what? So, if you clearly specify then the O part of the stolen you have uh, successfully completed and localized objective or L is operationalized through the wiki organization steps that you did within the last activity and again the rules, the instructions etcetera are the engagement specific uh, properties. So, now it is a share phase. So, within this the participants have to share their wiki idea within their RC. So, the RC coordinator you will have to select three groups and ask them to explain their wiki in three minutes. So, a group gets three minutes to explain their wiki activity and the RC coordinator can then share the summary through the A view chat. So, we will display some of the wiki ideas to all the remote centers. So, you have 10 minutes to do this activity. So, among the RC start sharing, I see lot of people standing up and explaining their activities. Do not worry if each of you are not able to share, there will be a Moodle activity wherein the group can share their uh, designed wiki activity which will be uploaded at around 4 o'clock. So, 4 o'clock the Moodle activity will be ready you can upload your wiki idea in Moodle as an assignment. So, once all the participants have summarized the idea, the remote center coordinator you can share a small summary through a view chat. Okay, so, we have uh, the first set of answers coming in. Uh, so, we have a uh, from heritage institute wiki is server based service for create web pages. Uh, okay, uh, it is not clear what it was, uh, then the next from government college of technology Coimbatore to share the answers and specific questions. Uh, from B S Abdul Rahman U University eh, Tamil Nadu have type of pages UML unified modi modeling language. Okay, LNMIT Jaipur, uh, wiki page can be created for BTP students to share the papers they are reading and then share with everyone okay, as a share resource. So, the Coimbatore group are saying that it is 5 per group, instruction will be provided in the wiki itself good time span 3 days very good. Okay. Uh, so, they are populating it now, okay, let me look at another answer. So, TKM uh, college Kulam type of pages, so let me see what the purpose was, so they have not put in the purpose. So, type of pages assignment, content questions, activity, type finding solution material. So, I believe this uh, TKM college you are trying to use it as a course page, I am not able to view your uh, purpose. Okay. Okay, B S Abdul Rahman University wherein they wanted to explain the type uh, UML. 
possible content is use case diagrams and class diagrams type of activity creating use case diagram for atm transactions so i believe many uh, different possible uses will be shared within this phase so oxford college from bangalore they have uh, given the case of uh, flash games okay there is an interesting idea from vasavi college to create content on global warming topic for the course and also give a thorough understanding of the topic to the students that is a good instructional perp i mean the specification and detailing is good okay sri vidyaniketan engineering college andhra pradesh online diagnostic test and formative test and assignment test so i am not able to understand what exact is this the purpose okay another college gh raisoni for their idea they have given the type of permissions so read write upload permission to teachers and read and comments permission to students after verification now a possible problem of this is that the wiki activity is meant for the learner to uh, develop the higher order thinking skills of the learner so what we would recommend is that teachers at the most be facilitators for the wiki activity so ideally if there is read write and comment option for the learner that is the student then the learner will get maximum benefit out of the activity okay uh, there is also another uh, owning uh, regarding ownership who owns teacher owns the pages and student will have right to update and submit the assignments on use case which is good so teacher initially creates the content and asks the students to go and update that is also a valid use of wikis so yes so i can see lots of uh, answers coming in uh, we will uh, discuss this at a later point but one uh, assignment will be created in moodle wherein you can detail out all these ideas and share it to the community so recall the alignment that uh, was talked throughout the pedagogy workshop so there is a learning objective there are learning activities and there are assessments so for effective teaching and learning using wiki all three of these aspects are important now the learning objectives or the purposes of wiki was discussed during online phase week 5 so this sunday the lesson and the activities it would give you a clear idea on how to set up learning objectives for the wiki the learning activities is the creation of the wiki activity itself and we saw that this has to be aligned with the purpose of the wiki and we just did it so creating uh, so if it is a course repository making activities making groups so what you did just now is the alignment of the purpose and the learning activity so what is left now is assessment so the assessment of the wiki activity is equally important so we use something known as a wiki grading rubric this is more popular among the various wikis used because there are lots of criterias in which students have to be assessed for the wiki activity it's not just question answer or uh, Uh, let's say a, an essay that they are going to do so there are lot of activities within the wiki so you saw there is a lot of collaboration that is happening there is also a uh, since it is a common space there are rules to be followed there are standard practices that have to be uh, that have to be adhered to so all these of the learner is also assessed in a wiki grading activity so we'll see a we'll see a grading activity how what are the possible ways in which a wiki can be graded 
so we just give you a recommendation so you can add more criteria because a rubric you can add more criteria you can specify the criteria so we just give you four important criteria if you are using wikis within your course so four important considerations for uh, grading a wiki activity is one the content so this is specific to the purpose or the topic that you are uh, creating wiki for appearance so how easy it is it to navigate how ordered it is how beautiful it is so you can uh, the weights for each of these varies but a, uh, a small amount of consideration has to be given for the appearance of the wiki next is collaboration so r is your wiki serving the main purpose of collaborative learning so are students discussing each others uh, updated pages are new um, are they able to go beyond the basic lower order thinking skills due to collaboration all these have to be assessed and an important consideration which uh, is very much missing within the indian scenario is on ethics so we as a teacher you should not have students populate contents without proper citations so if the wiki work is original then students should get credit but if they are copying from other websites or even from wikipedia then make sure that there is a process followed wherein they cite the content properly so all these these four main considerations have to be there while you create a grading for the wiki activity so in the next slide i'll show you a sample the structure of a wiki grading rubric so all these elements are arranged over here the content the appearance the collaboration and ethics and there are specific measures like whether it is good whether it is totally unacceptable so we'll see an example for each of this in the coming slides so i'll just take an example so since it is a long one i have used a column structure so actually it is a row wise content so here they have used scale so this is the measure that we are talking about in a wiki grade uh, grading rubric the scale is the activity is graded as an exemplary which gives uh, 3 marks so 3 points uh, then proficient partially proficient and unsatisfactory and the element whatever we described over here is given over here and if the content is exemplary then it will satisfy that the content will explains all ideas clearly and concisely in a logical progression with effective supporting evidence if the content part the next lower lower scale is that proficient so a students contents are graded as proficient or two points in this particular rubric if it explains most ideas clearly and concisely with supporting evidence but not all so difference between exemplary and proficient is that it fails to explain all the ideas now partially proficient a wiki content is uh, students wiki content is uh, said to be partially proficient if it incompletely explains the ideas and does not effectively use supporting evidence and a totally unsatisfactory wiki work is when the student fails to explain ideas clearly and does not use any supporting evidence within their wiki page so i hope you understood the grading criteria and the points for each of these 
scales. We will now look at the next element which is organization. You see an exemplary performance is one in which the student uses a con consistent organizational structure that includes grouping related information, defines specialized vocabulary and or, or provides a table of contents. A student's activity is considered proficient if it uses an organizational structure which groups some, but not all related information and defines specialized vocabulary and or, or provides a table of contents. A student's activity is said to be partially proficient if it uses a loosely defined organizational structure which attempts to group similar terms and it is totally unsatisfactory if it fails to provide a consistent organizational structure and information is difficult to locate. So, a uh, note on collaboration. So, this particular wiki rubric uh, collaboration is said to be exemplary if the student contributes equally with other group members in researching, writing and editing the wiki page. It is considered proficient if it is if the student assists the group members with most of the researching, writing and editing. Partially proficient if he provides if he or she provides minimal assistance to group members in researching, writing and editing and does not follow through with all the tasks. And totally unsatisfactory when there is no assistance and there is no follow up. Something about citation, an exemplary citation would be when the student accurate, accurately cites all sources of information to support the credibility and authority of the information presented. Uh, it, it is considered proficient when most sources are cited accurately and support the credibility of the information presented and partially proficient when very few resources are cited accurately and they fail to adequately support the credibility of information presented and totally unsatisfactory when there is no, uh, when the student does not provide any accurate information about the sources used. Next is creating grading assessment plan for the wiki that you plan to implement in your course from the previous TPS activity. So, we will start this as a think pair share activity itself. So, for the wiki idea that you and your partner finalized, think individually and answer the following questions. One, identify the specific student learning objectives that you want to measure and two, which all elements from the wiki activity will you include to check for these objectives. So, elements an example of elements you saw previously wherein we viewed the content, the appearance, the organization and also the citation, but for each of the activity the elements could be different. So, for your own activity you will have to identify what all are the specific student learning objectives that you will be measuring and which all elements from the wiki activity will you include to check for these objectives. And while you are doing it, it would be good to have this picture in mind that an assessment should be aligned with the learning activity and it should also be aligned with learning objective for a truly effective teaching learning transaction. So, think individually first, we will move to the pair phase in 2 minutes from now. So, there are some questions that are coming in the chat, I will take this uh, up once the TPS is over. So, the think activity is identify specific student learning objectives that you want to measure in the wiki idea that you and your partner finalized. 
but you have to think individually also which all elements from the wiki activity will you include to check for these objectives i'll now move slowly towards the pair phase so in the pair phase pair with your partner and prepare a consolidated list of learning objectives so it may be possible that you and your partner would have had different learning objectives in mind so prepare a consolidated list of learning objectives discuss and finalize the elements that you that you are going to include in your assessment plan so you have 5 minutes you have already identified the purpose you have created the activity you have some initial assessment plan in your mind pair with your partner and prepare a consolidated list okay now we move on to the share phase participants you will have to share your answer within the rcc uh, within your remote center and there will be a worksheet day 5 pm1 wiki worksheet which will be uploaded in moodle where you will have to include whatever you did in the tps activity earlier and the assessment activity that you did now so this particular worksheet is going to be uploaded in moodle after 4 o'clock so the deadline for this activity is 27th of july that is sunday so you have time to complete this particular activity and rccs please share the assessment plan of three groups like what you did previously share the ideas of three groups within your remote center so make sure that whatever assessment that they are doing now is for the wiki activity that they created earlier it should not be a different one so there are answers coming through a view chat so the purposes are being put in by various remote centers which is good design the given problem in hand create the model of the given problem so what you, what we want you to do at the remote center is share it among yourselves first you can share with us through moodle worksheet so as as audience what you can do is see whether the learning objective of the wiki and the activities that they matched in the earlier tps activity is properly aligned with the assessment strategy that they are going to discuss now so that is all about instructional use of wiki so once again which can be edited by all and while creating wiki activities make sure that the purpose of wiki creation of wiki and the assessment are aligned to make optimum use of the wiki in your own course so before going for a break we are we will now go to the description of the wiki lab activity that is going to take place immediately after the tea break major instructional objective of the qtplee workshop we have told you that we are working to create a content repository of various instructional activities that you created as assignments so we will be using a wiki activity wiki activity to share the various contents that you have actually created across the qtplee workshop in the past 5 6 weeks so we will now give you instructions on how to do this particular wiki lab we'll provide you with the links so for the lab session participants will work on this as an assignment and we will be using the public wiki wiki spaces to join this particular wiki you will have to use this particular joining code so you click on this link and it will take you to the wiki spaces uh, website you will have to give your name username and an email address along with a password to join the wiki and once that is done you will see 
the wiki page so this is the web page that we are talking about the name is etrepository.wikispaces.com so you see that there is an activation code 7q99cr you can directly put it or you just have to click the link within this uh, presentation you can download this presentation directly from a view so you see that the name of the wiki is et repository so an information about what this is about an initiative to build community resources for engineering colleges instructors so we are showing the about this wiki page so this is the basic information so you also have wiki home projects recent changes pages files so you have links over here so this is the basic information page of this particular wiki so next within this information page you can see the instructions to use this wiki so specific instructions are given this wiki page of uh, wiki is made up of several group pages each group page is derived from the workshop or course which our research group is conducting so for example a teacher who is a member of the q triple e short term course is a part of q triple e repository page so you will see this information over here and you can see that a q triple e repository page has been created with a link has been created over here so within the q triple e repository page about the q triple e course again information about what this page is and specific project pages links to the specific project pages are given so what you have to do is each of you as an institute will have to create your own home page and upload all the peer instruction and think pair share resources that all the participants within your remote center created across this workshop so as a sample the uh, research group at idp in educational technology at iit bombay has created sample pages over here so i'll just walk you through how to create links and how to maybe a possible structure through which you can actually populate the various contents so i go to the idp et home so you can see that there is a content called home page of idp et iit bombay as of now it has not been linked but i will show you how to link this to the idp et home which you see on the right side of this particular wiki space so again we are using the wiki spaces if you go to wiki home it shows the basic information page within the basic information page you have the group specific page of the workshop specific page called q triple e repository on clicking the q triple e repository you will see the q triple e repository page which you need to edit so this is the editing of the wiki so this is a standard html editor you see bold italics underline the text uh, style text the heading types all these are available over here and there are links to insert files widgets tables all these are provided so what i'll do right now is i link the idp et home page from the q triple e repository by selecting this and creating link so you see the link text is home page of idp et iit bombay it is in this particular wiki so if there are multiple wikis you can create links across wikis so our wiki page is within the uh, et repository wiki and the page name if you click over here you can see the various pages that are coming over here so i'll click to 
IDPET home. So this is the IDPET home page that we have created. So for each institution, we would recommend you create an acronym and then a hyphen followed by home to create your own home page. So you can see that it is now linked to the IDPET home page. Once you do this, then save it. So it is taking some time to process it and you can see a message coming on the right hand side that the page has been updated. Now when you click the home page of IDPET IIT Bombay, you can see description about the IDPET group. So you see a little about, about us, again this is the information and within the page I have given instructions on how to populate the page. So each institute, uh, each of the remote center should have some basic information about them and also instructions on how to populate the page within their own home page so that participants within the remote center will know what they should do. So this instructions can be developed within your remote center and this is what we will actually look at the organization of your wiki page or the appearance and organization of the wiki page within your remote center. So you see uh, the instructions are given indicate the domain in which you would be contributing the PI and TPS. So peer instruction and TPS activity the domain has to be given in this particular section by replacing enter domain text with the name of the domain. So at present I have electrical domain listed over here and how will you do a new domain you click edit. So replace the enter domain with let us say I am going for electronics. So this is how you change the domain and once this is created link it to the page where you are going to create content for the electronics page. Again each domain will be a separate page where you will list the topic and then the PI and TPS resource. You are free to create separate pages for your peer instruction and TPS activities or include them under the domain page itself. Use the PI activity constructor and TPS activity constructor. Again a web link is provided to the resources page in our website if you do not have the PI and TPS activity constructors. Now the domains, so I click this electrical, you can see that the, it is linked to IDP ET electrical page. So each institution will have their own, uh, so lots of electrical engineering party, uh, teachers are there, lots of electronics teachers are there. So what we would recommend is that again acronym of your institution followed by domain that is a uh, that would be a good naming convention to link your page. So you can see that in this home page have populated some contents. So topics available the list of topics for which resources have been created are as of now number systems in digital circuits. So you can see resources for so I have created PI resource for number systems in digital circuits. Now uh, as a participant what we would expect as an exemplary activity is along with the PI question you give reasons as to why you are giving this question and what are the possible answers that you might get and why you are, uh, how are you going to solve the issues like misconceptions which might be created, uh, uh, which would be there in the students. So for example, a category 1 PI questions are developed to address possible misconceptions that occur in students. So I have put in reason as to why this question is given and possible misconception that might come. 
so you see another category two question and I have given so this over here why this question it is only for discussions to happen so only that is there. So an exemplary practice is one in which you along with the questions you provide reasons as to why you have selected this question and how this question will solve the, issue, uh, the problem that you foresee. So a detailed grading rubric will be created uh, and the page will be uploaded over here again we are looking at the four main aspects. So that uh, those which we detailed in the previous session. So you have the wiki in your hand uh, once again I will share that uh, joining code. So you go to this particular link join the wiki and then start exploring the wiki. So at this moment I have created the wiki as edit for all. So I hope you will not be deleting any of the pages of uh, other institutions. So I would re recommend I would request you not uh, recommend I would re uh, request you to stick to your own institutions home page and proceed with the activity. So now we can break for the uh, tea.